Good morning uh, and welcome to all. Good morning for those who are calling in this morning from uh, West, Central, North and Southern part of Africa. And good afternoon for those who are joining us today from East Africa. We have a thousand of people registered for this event, representing 40 countries, and that is pretty amazing. We're excited to have you with us today for this Pan-African Learning Opportunity. This session is brought to you by Ecobank Commercial Banking Team and their partners of Google. My name is Simon Ray, the head of Ecobank Academy, and I'll be your moderator for today's session. This is the first of our series of virtual learning solutions aimed at supporting African small and medium-sized enterprises on digitization and development of your business. And today's session is focused on Google My Business and Google Ads. Now, as you can see in the agenda of the day, uh, we'll start with the opening remarks, which will be done by the, uh, the group executive of commercial banking, which will then be followed by the representative uh, from Google. And then shortly thereafter, we'll start our training session. Uh, and once again, the focus today uh, is Google Ads and Google My Business. And these sessions will be delivered uh, by two um, faculty from Africa 118, which are Google's partners here in Africa. I would like to introduce our first speaker, the Ecobank Group Executive for Commercial Banking. This is Josephine Ankoma. Josephine. Thank you very much, Simon, and good morning to you, our cherished customers and partners, and thank you so much for making time to join us this morning for this very insightful session. COVID is driving rapid shifts in consumer behavior and merchant behavior as well. This pandemic has transformed everything from the way we work, how we interact with our family and friends, to how we buy and pay for things. We are convinced that these significant sh uh, shifts in both merchant and consumer behavior that we have observed over the past couple of months are here to stay. More consumers are online and are rapidly shifting to e-commerce to buy goods and services. Consumer concerns over the possibility of COVID of, of, over the possibility of cash being a vector of transmission for this virus has increased their preference for cash, cashless and contactless payment options. As consumers switch from face to face to e-commerce transactions, the ability of merchants to quickly build an online presence and also accept digital payments is becoming increasingly critical and essential to the survival of businesses. The Ecobank Google partnership recognizes this pressing need. We are th thus leveraging our joint capabilities and strengths to offer you a tremendous opportunity to digitize and develop your businesses. Our solution offers you the following. An enhanced visibility for your business through a digital presence via a well-recognized tool, which is Google My Business and Google Ads. An online business profile that gives you a presence on Google Search and Google Maps, allowing you to showcase your business to practically the entire world. You also have access to an expanded customer base that you can engage with and interact with 24 seven. We also offer you a free Google Business website that enables you to present your business professionally online. We add on Echobank Pay, our proprietary digital collections platform that enables you to, to receive your, your payments in a contactless and cashless manner online. And the, the monies that you receive are credited to your, 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 your account instantly. We offer you Echobank OmniLight, and this is our proprietary online banking solutions that is specifically tailored to the needs of, of, of our SME customers. As with any major disruption, this pandemic ushers us a period of both great risk 
and great opportunity. It is businesses that are ready to adjust, to adapt, and to re-engineer that will lead and remain relevant and successful. We at Ecobank, in partnership with Google, are focused on doing our part to help you navigate these uncharted waters. With these brief remarks, I'll hand over to Rosemary, my colleague from Google. Rosemary is the co-marketing partner manager of Google, and she's joining us via Google Meet. I look forward to an, 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 an insightful and engaging time with you all. Thank you so much for joining and a good morning to you all. Over to you, Rosemary. Thank you very much, Josephine. Thank you so much for that uh, warm introduction. Good morning, everyone. So as you heard, my name is Rosemary. I work in the small and medium business team at Google Office based in Kenya. It is my pleasure to be here today. I'm a part of this wonderful partnership with Echo Bank and Africa 118. For 21 years, Google's mission has been all about organizing the world's data and making it available. And today, we are so proud to be in this wonderful partnership with all of you. Today, you learn about two amazing tools, as you had Google My Business, a free platform to help you show up online and be found by your customers, and Google Ads to help you raise your awareness. Please feel free to engage and to ask questions, and please wait for the next steps and call your Ecobank partner for uh, advice on how best to engage. Please stay safe. We wish you and your families a warm uh, and safe time, and please enjoy the learning session. Now over back to you. Thank you very much, Josephine and Rosemary, uh, for your opening remarks. And uh, we are now ready to start with your first session of the day by Wilfred Omondi. Wilfred, over to you. Uh, yes, good morning, everyone, and thank you so much, uh, Simon. Uh, Simon. Uh, welcome to this session on Google My Business. I'll be the presenter for today, taking you through how you can be able to digitize your business using the platform that we call Google My Business. So as has been mentioned, my name is Wilfred Omondi. I work with Africa 118 as the project manager for Google My Business. So just to go straight into the topic, I know quite a number might be aware of what Google My Business is, but despite that fact, I'll be able to share some few insights with you on number one, what Google My Business is. Number two, we'll be able to look at why Google My Business is important for you as a business. And then we'll wrap it up with how you can be able to set Google My Business up so that you can uh, start running with it. But what is Google My Business? So Google My Business, number one, is a business profile. It's an online business profile that gives you access to two important Google platforms. So that is Google Search, ideally where you go to search for information online, and then Google Maps. So when you're looking for directions and you want to maneuver around either within town, then you go to your Google Maps and you're able to locate where you're going to. So those two platforms are what you get when you sign up for Google My Business. In addition to that, it provides you with an opportunity to create a free website for your business. I know so many businesses are struggling to get their website up and running, sometimes because of the technical know-how, sometimes because of finances. So Google My Business gets you started with that. In that, it comes in as a free website and it's just a click and drop for you to create a website. And we'll be able to look at that uh, briefly. So that is all about what Google My Business is. It's an online business profile that gives you access to Google Maps and Google Search. And in addition to that, you're able to create a free website. So up to that point, I believe now we are conversant with what Google My Business is. So let us look at why Google My Business is important. And if we look at why Google My Business is important, let me just show you uh, one of the things that if you sign up on Google My Business, you'll be able to see. So if you are signed on Google My Business and you visit Google Maps, you are looking for some pieces of information. So for this case, we are looking for some essential services. When we do that search, what you're seeing on your screen is what we get. So on the left hand side, I have pick and pay. So I'm able to get the information about that uh, profile. I'm able to connect it to a website and I'm able to request for direction from where I am so that it can lead me straight uh, to that business. So why is it important? That is the big question. 
And that is what I want every one of us after this training to have so many reasons, not just one, but so many reasons as to why they need to be on Google My Business. So just to start with, we know that online uh, nowadays is unquestionable for the fact that within the recent months, we've seen what's happening. When we are locked down or maybe our movements are restricted, we are now forced to start adopting the technology of using online uh, services. And one of them as a business owner is to embrace Google My Business. Why? Because it allows you to operate your store online. OK, so it's not just about operating stores. When you're operating a store, you need to have some idea of expecting uh, some return on investments or getting sales. So by the fact that you're able to join Google My Business and showcase your business profile there, it gives you a leverage of having up to 29% likelihood of getting a purchase. So that is just by the mere fact that you are on Google My Business and you have your information represented on that platform. So you have 29% increase uh, or chances that you'll be able to lead into a sale. In addition to that, it allows you to stand out. So how does your business look on online when it's represented on Google My Business? Because of the functionalities that it has, you're able to have a very neatly looking profile that has all the information that a customer might need. So for example, they want to get in touch with you. You have a phone number that they can reach you on. They want to visit your store. They can request for your direction. Uh, they can be able to visit your website. And if they want to refer, they could easily share your profile with friends and family. So it allows you to stand out. That is another reason. The other one is that it allows you to engage. So you want to keep in touch with your customers uh, every now and then, Google My Business comes in with a, a, a messaging tool that allows you to interact with your customers. In addition to that, once you've served the customers, they are able to leave reviews so that you can get an experience of how people feel when they walk into your, into your store, they get served, and you're able to get that feedback straight from the clients that have interacted with you. So that allows you to be able to improve on some of the operations that you're doing on your business. And then last but not least, we now talk of the new currency being data. And Google My Business allows you to be able to have information on how people are interacting with your business. So for example, within a month, you're able to get analytics on how many people actually called your store. You're able to know how many people visited your store? From which area, from which region were they coming from? And did they get you on Google search or Google Maps? And those analytics, you can then incorporate them and use them to even improve your performance. So with those four reasons, I believe it's very necessary for you to take the next step and sign up on Google My Business. So just to sign, uh, to recap on some of the few reasons why you need to be on Google My Business, number one, it gives you an upper edge in that you're able to stand out on your profile. It allows you to engage with your customers. Last but not least, you're able to get insightful uh, data that can then you can then use to help you find new customers. So up to that point, the next question could be, so how do I sign up on Google My Business? It's pretty easy. So what you need to do is go to business.google.com. When you type in that URL, you need to sign in and you'll get uh, a presentation like what you're seeing. Then what you need to do is just put in your business name and it will ask you a couple of other information. But the most important that you want to look at is where you get to uh, input information where customers can be able to contact you. And, and at this point as well, be able to show you how you can get a free website. So once you get to the point where you need to put in your customer information, of course, you'll have to key in your uh, business number. If you have a website, well and good. If you'd like to create a free one, then on the third option, as you can see on my screen, where it's indicating get a free website, that is what you need to click on. And you are set up on uh, to have a free website. You will be able now to do a little bit of modification later on, but that is how you get to uh, to get a free website from Google My Business. So you continue with the process and then you get to the point where you need to finish it up. So at this point, you need to verify, which is again another important thing. So 
At the verification point, most of you will be able to see verify by postmail, but that is a challenge and that is where we come in. So at this point, we'll ask you to click on verify later. OK, so once you click on verify later, then you'll be able now to get in touch with us. But how do you do that? OK, so on the next slide, once you click on verify later, of course, it will show you the profile as it appears. But then now you need to get in touch with us so that you can be able to get your profile verified and you go live on both Google Maps and Google search. So uh, just below, there is a link that is indicated there bit.ly slash digitize biz. When you go to that link, you'll be able to reach out to us, Africa 118, and then we'll get back to you, we'll call you, and then help you with the rest of the process of making sure that your business is verified and it's live on Google. So I'm sure the link will be shared on the chat, but just make sure you note it down so that once you start the process, you're able to reach us and then we help you with the final step, which is verification. So that is how you get on Google My Business. So maybe just to summarize and to delve in a little bit more on, I spoke about why you need to be on Google My Business. And I mentioned two, uh, two reasons. One was to be able to engage with your customers. And then the other one was to stand out. So let us look at some few features within the next minute so that we can be able to see some of these features that Google My Business offers. Of course, we've talked about making you stand out by creating a website. So this website is in three steps. You click on create, you edit the information that you are with, that you want, you put in images that you wish, and then after that you click on publish. With that steps, about 10 minutes, you'll be ready to go with a fully fledged website that allows you to showcase uh, information about your business. Uh, the other one that I'd like to show you is uh, the, the ability to be able to interact with your business, with your customers. So we use what we call the posting capability of Google My Business. And if you go to your profile, uh, just on the second, on the left hand side of your screen on the menu, you're able to see where it's indicated post. So that is where you are able to engage your customers and post any relevant information that you'd like to share with them. So that can be either uh, offers that you're running and so many other stuff or products. So those are some of the few features that I wanted to share with you. Last but not least is to be able to download the Google My Business app and interact with your customers. So it comes in handy. If you want to text them, you'll be able to do that. And um, those are some of the few information that I wanted to share with you. And I think I will stop at that point. Thank you so much, uh, Team Ecobank and Team Google. And just to let you know that you can always reach us to help you to help you verify your business through the link that is showcased on your screen. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Wilfred. Please uh, stick around because we do have a number of questions uh, for you to go through. Um, we'll start uh, with the first one. How to delete photos posted by customers on our Google My Business site? All right, so th thank you so much. So customers can be able to uh, upload pictures on your profile. Unfortunately, as a business owner or as the owner of the profile, you cannot directly delete photos. So we have two ways. Number one, you can reach out to that customer who has posted a picture that you don't want and request them to pull it down. So that is the first bit. The other bit is that you can open that photo and on the top right hand side of that photo, you'll be able to see a flagging uh, icon. You can use that to flag that photo with the Google support team and they'll be able to get in touch with you so that that photo can be pulled down. But it will only be pulled down if it goes against Google's uh, content policies. Yes, so those are the two ways that you go about that, uh, that issue of getting down a picture. Thank you. Thank you, Wilfred. Um, and, and how long will the, will the site remain free? Uh, the site remains free as long as your profile is up and running. It doesn't have a limitation on when it can stay free. OK, so can you repeat that again? The site remains free as long as? As your business profile on Google remains up and running. 
Excellent. Yes. Now, uh, if you have a website already, how do you migrate to Google My Business? So I guess they're referring to their normal site and Google My Business and the relations with both. All right, so let me just go back to a presentation that I did. And uh, when you're entering information, when you're creating your business profile, uh, you remember at the point where you need to put in your contact information. So you're able to put in your phone number and then the next one is including a website. So if you have a website that is already up and running, then in that case, you'll choose the first option if you're able to see my screen. Okay, where you're able to put in your current website in and then uh, it will be linked to your Google My Business profile. If you need a website, a free website created by Google My Business, then you opt for the last option, which says get a free website based on your information. Excellent. Uh, thank you very much, Wilfred. We'll take uh, a final question for now. And uh, once again, we'll respond to all questions. Uh, and these responses will be uh, accompanying uh, the video of this particular webinar. Uh, so do not worry if your question is not answered because we have quite a bit to cover and we want to make sure that we finish by covering all the topics for the day. Now, the final question I think is for both Google and Ecobank colleagues. When will it be possible to pay for Google My Business with an Ecobank account without the need to use the cards? The second question, the payment option for Google My Business doesn't allow debit slash prepaid cards. It only allows credit cards. Do you envision allowing Ecobank customers to pay with their debit prepaid cards. Uh, all right, so I think I'll, I'll go first on that and uh, just make it clear that Google My Business is an absolutely free product. So you didn't you don't need to pay anything to get on Google My Business. So maybe I'll leave the other bit where you need uh, you need to be able to make payments for Titus to handle because it's uh, directly related to uh, Google Ads. But uh, I think the rest of being able to pay via which means I'll now get I'll now refer that back to to you. OK, so someone. Let me just take the, the, the payment bits just in case it doesn't come up uh, in the Google Ads uh, session. So we as Echo Bank, uh, we are going to provide our customers the opportunity to make payment for Google Ads uh, across our, our platform. So when you want to have a campaign uh, for Google Ads, you're able to pay from your EcoBank account through um, the internet banking, which is Christian OmniLite, uh, without using your card. And there's also the option of uh, uh, paying with your card as well, which we are going to uh, close up with uh, Google to uh, enable that. Uh, thank you very much, Oreku. That is uh, Oreku uh, Asare, uh, a part of uh, the Group Commercial Banking team. Now we are going to move on uh, to the next uh, session, which is about Google Ads, uh, and this session will be delivered by Titus Maina, who is the Digital Marketing Manager at Africa 118. And once again, please do feel free to ask questions as Titus go through the materials. And at the end of his session, we will uh, publish and he respond to some of the questions uh, as we move forward. So Titus, uh, if you're ready, over to you. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Titus Miner from Africa 118. So I'm very passionate about helping uh, businesses, especially African businesses, to grow their digital presence. Uh, I'm so happy to be here as we run this uh, uh, presentation. Uh, just a minute. Yeah, so uh, sorry for that. So uh, I'm very happy to be here. Like I mentioned, uh, you know, right now the world is uh, reacting to an expected pandemic. 
So basically what that means is people are having more time in their hearts and they are searching for solutions and answers uh, in uh, on, basically on Google. And if your business can capitalize on that, you can be able to convert those new searches into uh, new paying customers for your businesses. Uh, I'm sure most of you have also reacted with Google at some point uh, in your in your life. And uh, as much as Google has so many uh, products, the most important and where they dominate the most is in search and advertising. And in fact, uh, uh, results shows that Google search uh, usually at, uh, attributes to 95.6% of all the mobile traffic in uh, uh, worldwide. And then local searches for uh, for, for traffic, again, attributes to 46% of, uh, of all the searches. So basically, that's people searching for, for example, something like a hotel nearby, a uh, beauty shop near, near me, and all that. So uh, I'll also answer the questions for why you would want to consider Google Ads and also how you can do Google Ads and what are Google Ads. And I can start with talking about what Google Ads is. And basically, uh, it's a very simple product which helps you to advertise online and attract people to your website. So that means you look for people who are searching for your specific uh, services, and then you are able to reach them at that particular point when they are searching for your services. And then you are able to get them visiting your website. And you can ask, how do you do that? You are able to create uh, ads uh, with, with specific keywords. That means that the moment someone searches for a specific keyword, then that keyword triggers and your ad is shown when that person is actually searching for your ad. Uh, the most important advantage of Google Ads is something called intent. Th that means that when people are going to Google search, and I'm sure you guys can agree with me, you go to Google search when you are actually looking for that specific product or, uh, or service. Uh, another importance of Google Ads is uh, you can be able to do a lot of targeting. That means, uh, for example, if you live in any city in Africa, if you want to just target Johannesburg, you will be able to target Johannesburg. If you want to target 25 to that five year olds, you will be able to do that. And then uh, from there, you can be able to, uh, to for example, uh, advertise just on people who previously engaged with your business and nobody else. So those are some of the advantages which you get just with uh, with Google Ads over any other products. And then you can be able to have uh, sales-centered ads. That means, for example, if you are interested in clicks, you can be able to get people just clicking on your website. Uh, if you're interested in having people visit your store, you can be able to connect with your Google My Business. Uh, if you, you want uh, phone calls, you can be able to just connect and say, I want people seeing my ads to actually uh, make a call to my business. And then, of course, the biggest advantage is that you only pay when people click. So you're not charged for impressions. You are only charged when people actually make the action of uh, clicking on your ad. So uh, let me continue answering the question about why you would consider Google Ads. The first one is controllability. So this is where you can actually say, I want to spend a dollar a day, I want to spend a hundred dollars a day. And then there's measurability, whereby you will be able to see what you got from the ads. So this is not spray and pray. This is not something you just put your money and no one tells you what you got. You will be able to know the exact number of phone calls you received. You will be able to know the exact number of quotes that customers requested for. And then, of course, you can be able to say uh, to, to, to define the kind of places you want to reach and the kind of people you want to, to target. And then, of course, uh, scalability. So, you know, managing a business is a full-time job, and that's why uh, Google launched a product called Smart Campaigns, Google Smart Campaigns. So basically what that means is it's a simpler version of Google Ads, uh, because I'm sure most people think of Google Ads and they think it's a very complicated product, and that's why Smart Campaigns came in. So what Google did is they were able to take most of the important decisions from, uh, from for, for the process, so they take the decisions for you. So machine learning and algorithms usually make those decisions for you. So basically that means you only need to worry about uh, a few more things as compared to if you are actually making all the important decisions. And then what happens in smart uh, campaigns is that Google is able to optimize your ads to be able to get you the best return on, in, in, uh, on uh, investment. So uh, we've answered the question for why, uh, why Google ads. So we've also answered the question for 
what is Google Ads? So the next thing is now uh, answering the question for how that is done. So let me show you how it's easy to get you on the first page of Google. So you need to go to ads.google.com if you are a first time advertiser. And when you start your campaign, the first thing is you will be prompted to start your campaign. And then of course you can uh, define your, your, your objective. And then you say that you want it to be a smart campaign. You can see some of the objectives are calls to your business, visits to your storefront and actions on your website. And then this is where you select your goal. So you say, uh, you select the, the kind of goal you need. Do you want people to visit your website? Do you want people to call you? And then uh, you define the, the campaign. And then from there, you, you enter your business name. And if you don't have uh, a business name, like we mentioned, you can always create a, a website on, on Google Ads. And then this is where you set uh, the area that you want to cover. So the radius. So for example, if you're in Accra, this is where you say I want to start. Uh, I want some people just in this specific area. You can see Google is even giving you uh, the potential audience size. It's even telling you this is the number of people you can potentially reach. And then uh, after you've done that, you can see you can even put multiple locations. So you can start if you, for example, you're serving a whole country. You can say I want to concentrate my ads on densely populated areas. So you can just put the cities themselves rather than putting the whole uh, the whole country. And then from there, of course, you have to define the keywords. So this is where you are telling Google that if someone searches for keyword X, then I want my ad to show. So for example, assuming I sell groceries, I want people searching for grocery store near me to be able to show that, uh, that ad. So this is where now you put your keywords and tell Google that anytime people search for these specific keywords, I want my, uh, my ads to be shown. And then of course you can see it's also showing you the potential audience size. So this is potentially the kind of the number of people that you can, you can reach with your ads. Uh, we've been talking about the ads, so you also need to write the ads yourself. So no one knows your product as much as you do your product. But again, as you continue describing your product, you also need to think like a client. Think uh, the way you expect your potential client to search. So you describe your ad, you give it a good headline, and then of course talk more about your ad. And then you also need to set your daily budget. So this is where you say, um, I want to spend a dollar a day and then uh, then you set the, the time frame. You can see you are also given the estimates for the reach and the number of clicks that you will get. And then you see there's the estimated performance for you and then uh, the clicks and all that. So this one is just giving you a review of everything that you've done and then uh, you can set your card. So this is where you put your payment details, uh, the bank, the card and all that. And then you are set. You are ready to become uh, to, to be on the first page of Google and start selling. And, and then the best part of this is that you will be given the reports and the results of what, what you've been doing. So you can see you can be able to get map actions. So when you do these kind of ads, you can even see people who have been asking for directions to your place. You can get uh, any verified calls that you got. You can get the clicks and of course the verifications. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's how easy it is to rank on the first page of Google and boost your sales. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Titus. Um, we do have a number of questions for you. Uh, the first one is how much do you pay when a client clicks on your ad? There's something called cost per click. So this usually varies per industry. So you find, for example, the very competitive industries, the cost per click will be different from uh, like a not very competitive industry. So there's something called a keyword planner where when you're setting your ads, you can go inside there and check the amount of money you pay for each click that you get. Thank you. Now, how is the platform then, uh, the Google Ads platform, deals with similar services registered in the same areas uh, and, of course, using the same uh, search? So, the same they are, 
Yeah, so there are so many considerations that Google takes into place when, of course, uh, showing the ad. So Google's algorithms in the background will be trying to set up and see the, 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 the ad which will show up. For example, there's something called quality score. Uh, of course, there's the quality of the landing page. Is the landing page, for example, uh, does it have the right speed? So there are so many considerations which come into place. It's called an auction. So at the end of that auction, Google decides that uh, ad A is better, has more relevance to this customer than ad B. So there's so many considerations that go into place to make sure that happens. Thank you. Uh, now, the, the other question is uh, for EcoBank. Um, I believe it's for EcoBank colleagues. How do we integrate EcoBank Pay? So okay, thank you, Simon. Yeah, I, we, we've actually offering that we are given to uh, our, our customers and uh, potential customers is to ensure that when you register for Google My Business, we will, will give you a free EcoBank Pay on your landing page so that your customers can pay digitally uh, uh, via your website. And as Justin uh, highlighted earlier on, cash is a major vector for uh, COVID-19 transmission. So this is an offering that we are actually going to give to customers that will register for Google My Business. And additionally, we are going to add on our internet banking, which is Christian uh, Open Delight. So it's a full suit. And uh, uh, possibly along the line, uh, because of the data sets and the details that we have from the customer's transactions, a lot more will be offered to, to the customer. So there's a lot more possibilities uh, down the line. Uh, thank you, Reku. Um, back to you, Titus, with another question, and that is on analytics. So how will I be able to get uh, status? Uh, stats as to how many people click my ads, locations, is this automatic or is this something that I have to request? Yeah, it's uh, it's very automatic. So when you go to the Google Ads dashboard, uh, you will see uh, a report showing you, for example, the number of impressions you got, the number of people who are clicking on your ad. Uh, so it's very automatic. You just need in, you just need to log in on your dashboard and then you will see all that information. Excellent, excellent. I think another point is around the cost, uh, and I think it would be good if uh, uh, we can bring in Wilfred to speak about uh, an offer that will be made available sometime soon to the customers uh, with regards to how they can uh, get started uh, with uh, Google Ads. This is quite a big deal. So, um, Wilfred, if you are ready. Uh, yes, so thanks again for being back here. I just want to share about a special offer that uh, we are going to, we are starting to run for customers in Nigeria. So if you are signing up for Google Ads and uh, you'll be a first advertiser in that you're advertising for the first time on uh, Google Ads, then Google has availed an offer where uh, we'll be able to, if you spend $10 on your ads, then we'll be able to double it up and give you an extra $30. So you spend $10 in running your ads, we double it up and give you $30 in addition to that. Okay. Yes, so that is the offer that I wanted to share and this one is available for businesses in Nigeria. And any idea around as to when uh, this will be available in other African countries? Uh, it, it's already available in uh, South Africa, so the rollout is in uh, is in bits. So I think this uh, it's a start of a great partnership. So whenever there are such offers, of course, we'll be able to share with you that and uh, it can reach the customers as well. Excellent. And once again, this is a coupon whereby you spend $10 and you get $30 worth uh, of your Google Ads. Exactly. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, th thank you very much for that. Now, we do have another question, and I think this will be uh, with Echo Bank. I already have a Google Suite account, and I want you to last month that no longer use my virtual cards or prepaid cards. 
obviously referring to the bodies. Uh, so what is our response to this? OK, so um, it could be that there's, there's probably some restriction that we need to uh, uh, look into. But the moment uh, 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 we, we get in touch with these, uh, the customer details, we should be able to find out why the virtual cards are not being accepted. And if these virtual cards were not generated from the Ecobank mobile app, we'll also advise that you, you use the Ecobank mobile app uh, to generate a virtual card, which, which will make it much easier for you to pay uh, uh, for these uh, ads campaign as and when you so wish. And um, Simon, I'd also like to add on to this to say that yes. you can also opt for an, the Ecobank OmniLight um, online solution um, that will give you instant access to your account 24-7 and will enable you to make payments to um, Google uh, utilizing this, this platform. So we also offer you the option of using OmniLight if you are not only already signed on, and this is uh, free of charge. OmniLight is available for existing customers on Google Store and also on the Apple Store. You just go out there, look for Ecobank OmniLight, download the app, and you can begin transacting immediately. Uh, thank you, Josephine. Another question, I think uh, it also to you, is on uh, the availability of all of this. Is this only available for this Ecobank customers? Uh, or anybody else can just onboard uh, right away on either OmniLight or Ecobank Pay? I guess, what is the process? Okay, so um, this is available uh, for all uh, existing Ecobank customers. Um, for non-Ecobank customers, um, you, you can actually onboard. However, uh, we have a, a package for Ecobank customers. So the moment you become an Ecobank customer, you onboard on the Google uh, uh, My Business, and then you have a free Ecobank pay to accept the get out payment. And as Justin said, you have access to uh, the internet banking uh, called OmniLight uh, to be able to effect uh, payment 24 seven. And then uh, any other uh, related packages that comes with the bundle. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Oreku. Now, before we wrap up uh, the session, um, Titus and Wilfred, any final comments uh, from your end with regards to both Google My Business and or Google Ads? Yes, so just about 10 seconds is to thank you so much for arranging this. So that is in partnership with Google, Ecobank in partnership with Google. And also for the participants who have been able to create time and join us today. We are very grateful for creating that time. Uh, it shows that uh, uh, you valued what we are coming to share, and I believe that we've given you impact. And from my end and Titus' end, and on behalf of Africa 118, we are very grateful. And uh, just to let you know that we are ready to be able to support you on both products, that is Google Ads and Google My Business. Thank you and do take care. Uh, thank you very much, Africa 118. Uh, now, before I hand over to a group executive for commercial banking to do the formal official closing and speak about next steps, I would like to remind all of us online to go to the chat functions and copy the link that is there uh, because you will need that um, to activate the next steps. So again, the link is bit.ly forward slash digitize biz digitize biz in one word um, once again josephine over to you thank you very much simon and thank you everyone for joining us once again i believe that we've had a very insightful and engaging session the beauty of this partnership is that google puts you on the web it gives you access to the world and we ecobank help you to pay and to collect and we do this in a contactless and in a digital manner, in a cashless way. We have Ecobank Pay, which is our proprietary scan and, scan, um, scan and pay solution that will give to everybody for free when you log on, when you decide to sign on for this service. It will be part of the website that will be built for you and your customers, you, you'll be able to receive payments from your customers using this channel. 
We also have our web acquiring um, functionalities that we can sign you on uh, if you do satisfy the terms and conditions to help you to receive payments using um, when customers want to pay using their cards on your website. Additionally, we will give you OmniLight, which allows you access to your account 24 seven. You'll be able to make payments for your Google Ads anytime. You'll be able to see what is happening in your account Pay, um, make payments in your country internationally. There's a lot that you can do on OmniLight, and this we also offer to you free of charge. We also have our Merchant Cash Advance service, which we would offer to our customers who also meet terms and conditions. Bas and it's basically looking at the amount of money that you're able to collect digitally and our ability to lend to you on the back of that amount over a period of time without you having to give us collateral. So indeed, this is a beautiful partnership and I'll encourage all of you to go onto the chat, look for the link and subscribe. When you do, our Echobank contact center would call you to verify your details and to confirm your interest. And after the Echobank contact center has verified this, we'll pass you on to Africa 118, who are the website de de developers who will take you through the rest of the period. I would encourage you if you are not an Echobank customer to open an Echobank account so that you can enjoy these facilities and be on the look and the lookout for further engagement with you. Thank you very much and have a good morning.